What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team Bid. Yo, we got new content today. Super hype. As per usual, before we get into the new content, drop a like, sub if you are new. Uh, for a chance at winning 10k MT, guys, video is 30, uh, 30 likes on the vid, 10k MT to a random subscriber, whatever. So drop 10k in the comments for a chance at winning. Yo, we got some new content today. Let's see what time it dropped at. Um, let's see. So, okay. There's no time on it right now. So I guess it's new, but we got a new George Mikan. Um, interesting cards. We're going to go over all the stats right here in this video. Um, let's just put back on the face cam. My beautiful face. There it is. No, I'm joking. All right. So we got a new James. I don't know how to say his name. Junior Bridgman. Muggsy. Oh, he's going to turn into a diamond. And he's... A Muggsy Bogues and an Isaiah Ryder. All right, so these cards are interesting. Before we even look at the stats, let's pop a pack and just let's wish my man's luck. Because my luck. All right, we got a Ruby. We got a Isaiah Ryder. All right, yo, yo, yo. Maybe we could sell him quick. Let's check out his price, yo. I'm trying to sell this guy ASAP Rocky before he goes down to like minus 1K. He's probably super, super cheap right now. But let's check out his price. Yo. Thank you guys for the support as of late. Yeah, he's already 7K. All right, we got to rush to the auction. We got to put him up for a quick 6K and hope for the best because, man, we just got him. We got to sell that. And, yo, I also bought a uh, Earl the Pearl Monroe because, what's his name? He's going to go up in price. Um, he's out of pack, so I picked him up. We're going to make a ton of MT, hopefully. And, yeah, I thought it was a good buy. So here we go. We got Isaiah Ryder. And yeah, let's see. Maybe we can sell him for 7K and make our money back. We'll see. But let's go over all the stats and stuff. So we got the new George Mikan. He's probably going to be around the same price Earl Monroe was. So let's get into it. Honestly, I'm kind of a fan of this. Here comes an auction crash again. So it's going to be interesting. As per usual, like I said, when stuff like this comes out, auction drops right away. So get ready for that. Now is the time to snipe if you're a big sniper. Um, so let's go. We got George Mikan. Let's check out the stats. There's none up on the auction. We're probably going to try sniping one. So, yo, George Mike and Diamond's got a three-point shot. I don't know if it's a glitch, but what in the world's going on? George Mike and Diamond, three-point shot, 80. Post fades, deadly. I'm pretty sure he's short, though. Let's see. Can he play power forward? Because he's really short, I'm pretty sure. He's all right. He can play power forward, so that's money. Um, He's 6'10". He's pretty short. Got the free throw. Got three. Got the dunks. Yo, this guy's absolutely a stud. Defense is dirty. Interior D is dirty. Rebounding is filthy. Speed's good. Yo, this card is interesting. Uh, honestly, yo, I love this card. I hate Bob Mikado or Bob McAdoo, whatever his name is. He's straight trash and he's 6'9 at center. This card is very interesting. I recommend it. I maybe could snipe him out, hopefully. But yeah, so we got that card. And this is another player in the mystery thing. So we got 200, player, 200 tokens for this. I did buy Merle, Earl the Pearl. Let's check his price. Uh, it's looking like he's around the same price. I got him for 70k flat last night. He's at 77. All right, he'll go up well, because as you can see, there's not that many of him on the auction and packs are gone. So if you want to pick him up, he's part of the mystery player collection for 200 tokens. So he's not a bad buy. All right, so let's get into the actual content. I, I'm hoping it's good. I mean, I'm hoping that the stats are really good. Let's get into it. So. We got the Kendall Gill. You guys know about that. That's the old card. So let's check out the new Isaiah Ryder. Isaiah Ryder's got a nasty three as per usual. I call him mini LeBron. He's got like the same jump, sh jump shot as LeBron every year. I don't know about this year, but he's a beast every year. So comparing him to Michael Red, Michael Red's probably better, but um, his three points are there. Mid range is there. His dunk's amazing. Pass accuracy is great. His block's great. His steal's great. His perimeter D is great. Defense, eh. Wait, is his defense good? His perimeter is pretty good. Steel's pretty good. So let's check out the... He even has Hall of Fame badges. He has more Hall of Fame badges than my boy Red. Yo, he's interesting. He's got fast break finisher. He's pretty much like a dunking dude that could somewhat shoot. So he's pretty good all around. I would recommend the card. Rick Schmitz is old. Um, Muggsy Bogues, new card. He's not evolvable. He has an 89. In my opinion, if he doesn't have a three ball, which he does. Muggsy Bogues was not known for threes. They gave him an 84 three-point shot. He's got 77 dry and layup. If you guys don't know who Muggsy Bogues is, he is the smallest player of all time at 5'3", dude. For a basketball player, that's really short. It's crazy because he's actually good. He was actually really good back in the day. He's got a good free throw. He's got a good three. He's got no driving dunk, obviously, at 5'3". 
Ball handles at 95. He got handles. He steal. Yo, he could deadass go through like Yao Ming's legs. Like, no problem. Um, he's pretty good. I'm honestly 97 speed. He's got burners. Ooh, I actually might pick him up and just do a gameplay with him. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna do. We'll be picking up Bogues and I'll be doing a gameplay with him. So get ready for that. Muggsy Bogues gameplay come right after this video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let's check out the new Junior Bridgman. He's at 68K. His price would probably be really cheap. Upgradable to Diamond. Three point shots there. I'll probably go even more with a Diamond card. Mid range is gorgeous. He's got no post moves whatsoever, which is kind of an L. I like to go post in this game. Like Paul Pierce got that 90 post fade. Um, three points, decent. Dunks, amazing. Uh, ball handles, good. Pass accuracy is good. Steal, 80. Perimeter, 85. Okay, it's not that bad. Um, defense, not bad either. What does he got? Interior. Yo, his defense is clamps. He's got good speed. How tall is he? 6'5 at small forward. That's rough. He's all... Okay, you can play shooting guard. So, I would put him at shooting guard. This card's decent. There's definitely better cards in the game. But I would kind of recommend him. He's not too bad. And we got Mr. Jerry Sloan's old. I actually want to check his price. He's probably around like 20K. If we can maybe snipe him quick, that would be interesting. 27K was the cheapest. That's what it looks like. So, let's get to the next one. The last one is my boy James... Don't know how to say his name. I don't even want to try botching it. 40k for this one. 42, 36. Yeah, this is gonna be the cheap amethyst. He's already at 30k. He's got no three. I I hate. I just can't stand people who can't shoot. So he's got he's got a point guard. He can do shooting guard, point guard, which is lit. He's six one. He's pretty small, so I would not recommend him at shooting guard. Michael Red is six six, so he's got. No three. Uh, his three is decent, I guess. Not really that good. Um, mid range is really good. Dunk's pretty good. He got actually dunk at six one. That's interesting. Seventy five dunk at six one is good. Um, his layup ninety four. So he's more of like a driver, I guess you could say. He could pass well. Obviously, steal and D's pretty good. I uh, honestly, he's not too bad. Let's compare him. We can't compare him to my boy. All right. He's he's oh he got ninety one speed. I would put him at point guard if anything. Not shooting guard. He looks like more of a point guard to me than a shooting guard, in my opinion. Um, definitely a decent card, but let's check out what do you get. You get nothing from this collection. So, with this said, from this collection, you get the... This is one of the mystery player cards. Earl of Pearl is one of them, and now George Mikan is one of them. Um, I really do believe that if you have this card, he will have to rise. Just because, first, he's out of packs. Second, people are going to try to do this collection for 200 tokens. People are going to grind all day. To get this George Mikan on their team and grind for 200 tokens. So, definitely worth keeping the players for now. See if they go up. If they go a lot and you want to take your MT now and take the dub, I would go ahead and do so. But if you keep this Earl of Pearl for maybe somewhat later this week, you're going to make a ton of MT regardless. But also, what I noticed is that in the spin the wheel, they have the legacy packs coming out. So, you could honestly, if he goes up a lot, sell him for like 85k. Um, if you can tonight and then try to get him back out when those packs drop because he's going to be really cheap so yeah um the mystery player these are the two first mystery players we got three left so now is there anything in common right now only thing i see in common is that one's a point guard one's a center maybe they'll drop a small forward next that's my next guess i feel like that would make sense so they would do a small forward and he is on what team is this dude on he's on the lakers so one's on the wizards one on the lakers one's east one's west I see no comparisons. I see that they're really old legends. One's from like the 50s or 60s and one's from like what, the 70s? So that's interesting, I would have to say. Um, they're maybe from doing every time period. Like maybe they're doing 60s, then 70s, and 80s, and 90s, and 2000s. I don't know. That seems pretty accurate, but I don't know. I could be just really off. But yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed the vid. I hope this helps you out. And also, guys, I have a new coin sponsor. Um, hit the, hit it down below. Uh, I'm putting it in the link. It's DVDVJ, DVDJ, link in the description. Use code BUGS for 10% at uh, checkout. So, yeah, we're going to do a Muggsy Bogues gameplay right after this. We're going to have the new intro. We're going to have the new DVDVJ uh, thing in my description with the gameplay of Muggsy Bogues. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay blessed. Come out to the next vid. Show that support. Like the vid. So, if you are new, chance of winning 10K realistically it's a no-brainer you have a chance of winning 10k you win either way so drop the like drop the sub i hope you guys enjoyed peace